I wanted to show you a comparison today in lip balms with my lips. I'm not going to try them on because I just want to show them to you. And then there's one that's missing, so now you're like, Beth, be better. There's one that is missing, but it's so well known. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what to say. Where have you been? And that is, wait, how have you been? How's everybody doing? Is everybody doing okay? Okay. So, first and foremost, I want to tell you that I do not use lip balms. If I do, I only use one of these, which I will let you know which one. But, um, I did used to use the one that I don't have a copy of, which is the Dior Creme de Rose. And, honestly, it was mostly because of packaging. Because I'm not a rose person. Um, but it was supposedly the best lip balm. I remember I first saw it when Elle Fowler, it was like her favorite on Get Ready With Me's, and even when she'd be like, get ready for bed, she'd put it on her lips. And that is the time to use it, is at bedtime, put it on your lips. But I don't really like anything sticky on me when I go to bed. So, I'm going to show you what I think are some good lip balms. And that would have been one that I'd say is good. And it's luxurious. And the packaging is to die for. It's just this beautiful, looks like ceramic cream color with the beaded um, edge. And it's very, very pretty because it's, you know, like a pink translucent. And it smells like roses. And I'm not a big roses person. So, I mean, I love growing roses, but I don't really wear the rose scent or think that a rose balm, per se, is the best. And if you were going to use a rose balm, I like this one better. This one's made by C.O. Bigelow. And it's actually called Rose Sav, actually. Yeah. Apothecaries. Established in 1838. This is really old. I'm just kidding. But here's the difference. This one is much more oily. It's more like a, um, a Vaseline. I'm sure you can tell when you look at how shiny it is. It kind of looks more like Vaseline. And, um, of course, you know, you rub your finger on it. It has a really nice smell. It's like, uh, I do use this sometimes. It has kind of a, I can't think of a place, what is that smell? But it's a nice smell. It's like a, not vanilla, but close to vanilla or chamomile kind of smell. But, um, and this is five fifty, and I think I got this at Ulta on the checkout line. I just put this over lipstick, so it's not a good representation. But it was developed by Bigelow Gibbist, not tested on animals. Our famous rose salve has been long a favorite uh, in the early days due to the ability to care for lips and beauty skin. Emulsified and extra soothing rose extract helps ease irritation. I think that's the whole point of rose is that it helps that rose extract eases irritation on the lips. And it's certainly because it's like a pink colored... Vaseline is very oily, but it does tend to get into your lips really, really good, and I do like it, so I do use that sometimes before I, go, before I go to bed at night, well before I go to bed at night, so that it is not still wet and sticky before I hit the pillowcases. So, in comparison to that, I know, y'all, what does this look like? This looks like a woman's breast, but it actually is a peach. But, I mean, it just looks like a woman's breast, so I'm just like, that's kind of weird. But anyway, um, this was made in Korea. It's Tony Moly um, Mini Peach Lip Balm. So this is the mini size peach lip balm. Tony Moly always does really unusual packaging, which I really love him for. He's just fun. And so this does look like a little peach, but it also looks like a little breast. So, yeah. However, what I can say about this is if you ever love the smell of peach, oh my gosh, that is so the smell of a fresh peach. Even that kind of after smell that's a little tingy, almost citrusy. It smells like a real peach, y'all. I don't mean peach scented or peach puree or peach flavored. It smells like an actual peach. That kind of sharp, it's even got a sharpness like a peach, a real peach has. It is um, kind of like a creamy peach color. It's not a true peach because peaches are actually, you know, or peach colors are typically darker. This is lighter. And when you use it, it is also just like the Bigelow Rose Salve. 
it's very oily, almost like Vaseline. Yeah. Oh, it smells so much like peach. And this is just kind of a cute thing to throw in a bag, just to have. Especially if you're younger and you like a lot of little fun packaging. And when you get older and you wish you were still younger, you do a lot of fun packaging instead of the elegant stuff. But um, I really do love this as well. Okay, so next is the famous EOS. EOS, however you want to put it. Now this particular one came with a kit where you could decorate and so I used all the little stick-ons to put on here and I put my initials, I don't know if you can see that. And little hearts and chains and all, just all kinds. But this was just that kind of strawberry um, look. But, and it smells like, mm, that does smell so good. And this, now obviously I'm putting bomb over bomb over bomb so, you know, it's not going to have the look. You just did it like this. That automatically wins over the other two because you don't have to put your finger in it. I love that this can be thrown in your purse. It's fun. It can be thrown in a book bag. It's fun. It's moisturizing if you want something clear with a slight tint. Uh, actually, I don't think this even has a tint. No, this is just white. Uh, I mean, not white. It's clear. Um, and you can decorate it and so it's kind of like you. And um, it smells good, it keeps you moisturized, and it's got a good tight cover on it, and you don't have to put your finger in it. Here's another one from Michelle Fawn's M Cosmetics. Now, she, since she has changed over to her own business after her lawsuit with L'Oreal Lux, um, all she's gotten back, I think, is the lip paints and... I can't remember the, oh, the eyeliners, which I love all of her products. Her eyeliner, both the pencil and the um, brush eyeliner are killer. They're really good. Um, if you like liquid lips, it's one of the best I've seen, especially the French beige, I think is what it's called, French rose. Love it. It doesn't stay on as well as Chanel. Nothing does, but it's very good. But this is her old product. This is Pillow Plush, and it is just a cushiony lip balm, and it is in the uh, flavor of vanilla and the big push on this was that men could wear it as well as women. It has a nice vanilla scent. You can't get any more, I don't think. It's extremely thick, and to be honest with you, I wasn't crazy about it as much as I was this kind of dome packaging. I thought it was very, very cool. And the fact that, you know, like any other um, chapstick lips, lip balm, it could go to men as well as women. Next uh, was, I got this Chanel after I got really uh, psyched up on the Dior Creme de Rose. And I'm a Chanel person. This is the Hydra Beauty, and it is a wonderful lip balm. Like any other, you have to use your finger. It doesn't have a scent, and it is not greasy at all. But then I found that you could have it in the stick, like a lipstick. And this is called Rouge Coco Balm. And what it is, is I believe it's that same product, only it's in a stick. So this, for me, wins hands down of all the others, even more than the e EOS, which you, honestly, because you don't have to put your finger down in this and you want a lower end product price-wise, it's just as good. Um, but this is a wonderful uh, bomb product. I really do use this before I go to bed and just, you know, just something moist before I go to bed on my lips. Um, it absorbs quickly so it doesn't get on the sheet, you know, your pillowcase or whatever. And of course, it's this beautiful Chanel packaging. So of all of them, this would be my number one pick, and this would be number two. Of uh, the scents, this is the best scent, the peach scent. And then I do like the same texture of that as this, and that's the, the uh, rose salve. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, these two are the same. Can't get my arm up there. Um, the actual stick and the um, pot version. And then this is great. It's a little too thick, though. It would be good, like all of these would be good for male or female. None of these are, are um, tinted, so you could just wear them, they're clear. And, um, but this is, I'm pretty sure, not even available anymore, so I really shouldn't put that in the mix. But I really have to say, um, like Chanel, people used to cut down the um, packaging and say, you know, it's just white with black. Well, so is Chanel, and it's very classy, and I actually think it was pretty great, but it is no more. So, anyway, the one that wins out of all of them for the high end is my Chanel um, Rouge Coco Balm. And on the low end, 
just a regular old EOS and the reason is because I don't have to put my finger in the pot which some people would say is very unsanitary it's your finger it's and as long as you don't share it's just your finger um, but the bigger deal is I wear nails and so it gets under my nail if I can't get it short enough to just kind of do like that and get in there it's a real pain in the booty and so I would rather have a situation where I have a stick um, application so that I don't have to dig down into something, have a spatula, or get my nail getting some, um, it, it, worst case scenario, if it did get on your nail and you had to like get it out from underneath, then you could rub it on your fingers and your cuticle area, and no kidding, all of this would be fine for your, around your cuticles as well. So anyway, that is my comparison. Uh, again, I did not show the Dior Creme de Rose. It's very classy. It's very iconic. And um, if you were going to do it for the look of it, I would either do that one or, you know, obviously the Chanel for the dip pots. But to me, the best one of all is the Chanel, which is very classy and iconic. And yet, you don't have to dip your, dip, dip your finger down into it. So I think that's kind of an important important feature because I don't like having to get my finger down in there. It's just like yuck. But um, again I just of all the scents I know there's rose, there's vanilla there's strawberry, there's this and that the best scent of all hands down is the Tony Moly uh, peach. I love the peach. It's the mini peach lip balm. So anyway if I had to pick a winner it would be Chanel and it would be um, the cocoa, I'm sorry the Rouge Cocoa Balm in the stick and um, if you're saying, well, that's a little pricey for me, then go to your local drugstore and get you the EOS bombs because, again, you don't have to, um, you don't have to dip your finger down into it. It's still out, and yet it's very, very affordable, and sometimes they have a little decorating kits like that. Okay, you guys, so that is my lip balm comparison. I love you.